Welcome back to the Launchpad. Zach here with another space news update about the human landing system contract. On Monday, August 16th, we shared an update that Jeff Bezos' company, Blue Origin, had officially filed a complaint with the U.S. Court of Federal Claims. Blue Origin is challenging that during the bidding process, NASA acted unlawfully and that they improperly evaluated the three major bids. They say they are looking to remedy the flaws in the acquisition process as they firmly believe that the issues identified in the procurement must be addressed to restore fairness, create competition, and ensure safety while returning to the moon with America. Well, today we got an official statement from NASA, and it looks like this sealed complaint is actually going to go to court. NASA has officially ordered SpaceX to stop work again on the HLS contract just two weeks after the GAO dismissed Blue Origin's protest and work was able to resume. NASA has voluntarily paused this work order in an agreement and exchange with the parties of the complaint, in return, they will get an expedited litigation schedule. This expedited court session will need to conclude by November 1st, ultimately creating at least another 75-day delay for the Lunar Starship. The litigation schedule has been adopted by the court and is as follows. By August 27th, the defendant shall file their administrative record. Then by September 3rd, the plaintiff shall file any motions regarding the contents of the defendant's administrative record. On September 9th, the defendant will file their responses to any motions made by the plaintiff. And by September 24th, both parties will file cross motions for judgment of the administrative record. Then by October 6th, both parties will file replies in support of their cross motions from the week earlier. And almost a month later, on November 1st, the defendant's voluntary stop work order will expire and hopefully will have a results from the judge. NASA officials are working with the DOJ or the Department of Justice to review the complaint and details of the case and are looking for a timely resolution and have committed again to the Artemis program and maintaining their nation's leadership position in space exploration, stating that with our partners, we will go to the moon to stay, enabling science investigations, new technology development, and to prepare for sending humanity to Mars. Just like with the GAO protest delay, this 75 delay is not expected to stop SpaceX working on their Starship development at Starbase, but it will delay the work on the Lunar Starship variant. Together, we'll now be almost 200 days of delay so far just this year against the Lunar Starship, which may ultimately cause Artemis 3 to be delayed. Check out this video if you want to know a little bit more about some other delays coming against Artemis 3. Make sure to never miss another space news update by engaging that subscribe button. Join us for our live launch coverage and some upcoming exclusive interviews. And let us know in the comments, what do you think about NASA officially suspending this in exchange for a faster court session? We'd love to hear your thoughts. But for now, this is Zach signing off.